Well, as a farmer, a fairly large farmer in Australia, we became aware that we were using too many chemicals on our land. And while I was growing 11,000 acres of wheat and quite a lot of barley, oats, we ran cattle, we ran 20,000 sheep. We were noticing that our soil fertility was dropping and that we had to do something about it. The merry-go-round of uh, more and more use of, of artificial fertilisers became a costly uh, program. The cost of production exceeded the, the profit, profitable returns. So therefore we had to make a change. But I'd already been researching from 1972 uh, the possibilities of a different standard of agriculture. It became apparent that there was something in the Nile that was very useful to soil fertility. And I found out that one of the most important factors in soil making, as the world was produced, was the fine ground glacial gravel produces a colloidal dust which flows down the rivers and the oceans into the waterways and onto the land. So I looked at them trying to find out why we couldn't use powdered rock, copy the glaciers. And that seemed an important way to go. Well, failure after failure. I tried all sorts of rocks. I tried uh, gravel, ground up granite, ground up basalt, and I could not get the result I was looking for. I tried for 18 years. Wow. 18 years trying to perfect glacial gravel. In other words, get it small enough, fine enough, colloid, a colloid is a very tiny, tiny substance. So it was very important that I look at this and try and pick up colloidal type dust. Finally, I achieved balance. In other words, I found selective rocks that had selective um, minerals, which are very, very important. There must be at least over 60 minerals that are required for soils, plant life, uh, and animal and uh, human life. So this led me then on the, uh, the, the track to developing Ecomin. I had to find selective rocks that produced similar to glacial gravel, to have the correct mineral balance was very also important. So we had to select rocks that had all these things to make up and produce what nature produces over thousands of years in a couple of days. Ecomin excites microbes. It, it creates fertility in the soil by exciting the microbes to work. Therefore, you get healthy, vital, fertile soil. It is a, it's a soil builder microbes, mycorrhizae, the, the, uh, the beneficial microbes that help plants grow and survive and take the nutrients from the soil are excited when you put ecumen on the ground. Uh, artificial fertilizers create compacted soils. Ecumen creates lovely alluvial type soils. Is ecomin safe? Is it a product that uh, we don't have to worry about? I know people and myself that, that eat ecomin. We know that animals eat it, so it must be safe. It makes you very, very healthy, quite frankly. <laughs> There's no problem with it. <laughs>